Here we have a light meter reading, very simple device, a frosted screen to receive the light levels and a digital readout which allows us to see exactly how many lux is falling on this surface here. The reason why we've chosen this room is we have a light source here which is purely the window. We've got the lights off other than for the camera lights and we're trying to see at one metre distance how much light is falling on this screen. Putting it down and standing back roughly a metre, we take our first reading. It's 610 lux, which is quite intense considering all we've got is the outside light coming through. We then take it to our next location, which is roughly two and a half times the height of the window. And we have a further reading, which is 160. 160 lux is a little bit low compared to what we would normally expect in an office environment, but it's sufficient to carry on normal work. So we're coming over now to our final location, which is on the other side of the room, and we're putting our light meter down, standing back as before. So we have now a reading of 20 lux, which is quite low. Normally we'd like a light level higher than that, but in certain situations, 20 lux is acceptable. In a restaurant, we have a candle, we have soft lights, soft music, and that's sufficient to see what we're eating and to enjoy the company that we might have. Right now, 20 lux would be unacceptable in an office environment. Even 160 lux is barely minimal. In this position, in this situation, we are purely relying on the natural light coming through the window. We don't have any artificial lights on in this room. What we're looking at here is how the light level diminishes the further we are from the original light source, which is the window. We're taking some readings now outside. What are the lighting conditions that we are experiencing today? It's fairly overcast, but the whole sky is covered with light. On a very sunny day, we would have the sun only as a point load. But the reality is right now, we virtually have a dome effect. The whole sky is lit. It's very diffuse light. There's no harsh sunlight. So we're putting the reading on the ground and I'll be taking a step back so that we can get a reading. Right now, we have variable light conditions. <laughs> 23,000 lux. The reading is quite high because the dome effect is influencing our light meter. 23,600, 400, it's jumping around. But the reality is, at the moment, my eyes are squinting, the light is quite harsh, and it is quite debilitating in this condition. Normally we wear sunglasses in these conditions because we don't like that harsh feeling on our eyes. When we're driving our cars, we have sunglasses on because of the harsh light coming through the windscreen. Right now, we're taking these readings, 23,100 at the moment. This particular room that we're filming in today has very well-designed lights. They are deliberately designed for anti-glare so that you virtually have to look straight up in order to see the fluorescent tubes. At a reasonable angle, the box-shaped reflectors take away the direct glare of the fluoro tubes. The objective here is to find the light level as it varies across the room. So once again, we've got our light meters here, we've got our digital readout, and we're going to be directly reading right under the light source, noting that we've only got one 
line source here. We have no light source here. We've virtually got no reflection off these curtains because they're blue in colour. So putting down our reading, taking our reading, standing back, and we're looking at 370 lux. 370 lux directly under little or no reflection off the curtains. We then move to a new location which is midway between the fluoro tubes. So we've got one bank of fluoro tubes shining down, looking at our reading, and we have 500 lux. 500 lux, which is a nice level of lighting, which what we would expect in a conference room like this or in any office situation where you need fairly good lighting. Moving it to one last location, which is directly under the next bank of fluoro tubes. And again, our lighting level is 500 lux. 500 lux. So the design of this room is such that the lighting level is fairly consistent right across the room except for at the extremity where the lighting level diminishes. But most of the activity is in the centre here, so the light level is uniform. A very good design, which is what you would expect in this sort of a room.